Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Well today I'm gonna to bring you a favorites video. So I said that this year I wanted to bring back doing monthly favorites. I kind of got out of the habit of doing them every single month and I kind of just like consolidated and did like a big like current favorites every few months. Um, but I wanted to do them every month because things change every single month. Um, I know I'm a bit late for January. I know we're in mid-Feb already, but better late than never. And so yeah, what I'm going to share with you today are things that I have been loving through January up to now. Um, I've got a little list and I've got a few things in front of me, um, but I've just realised my list is very TV heavy. Like I've got a lot of things to talk about that have been on the TV, on Netflix. Um, so should we start? Actually, I'm going to start with the things that I've got in front of me so I can share them with you. And then, then we'll have a chat about the telly. Okay, where should we start? Now, usually I'd sort of go, here are my beauty favourites, here are my perfume favourites, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I've got one beauty favourite um, because my makeup is same old, same old. I do, I've got the same routine with my makeup. Um, but the only thing different at the moment is I've been uh, reaching for this blusher it's a number seven blusher in the shade damson mist and it's a, just a really nice pink blusher obviously as the seasons start to change i might reach for more of a a peachy toned one but throughout the winter i've been loving this pink toned one i can't remember where i got this obviously it's from boots but i kind of feel like i got it from like a beauty set or something um, but yeah, it was in my drawer and I thought, do you know what? I'm going to try this again. And I, I like the little rosy glow that it gives me. So I've been really enjoying Damson Mist from number seven. Um, and then I've got some, um, perfumes or body mists. Um, you have seen me talk about this in my vlogs. I got this in the sales um like boxing day sales from the body shop and i've used it every single day so it is a coconut and yuzu hair and body mist i'm definitely gonna buy another one of these if they've got them available it's so so nice coconut and yuzu is just like the perfect combination in my eye it smells of coconut but it's got like almost like um like a musky undertone if that makes sense um but i just i literally just spritz this in my hair every day and uh, even chris is like oh your hair smells lovely i'm like it's the coconut mist from the body shop um so yeah i've been reaching for that every single day since i got it in the sales i've also been wearing this quite a bit it's the white coconut uh it doesn't look like i've worn a lot but i've used quite a bit um white coconut uh, eau de toilette from Marks and Spencer. I got a pack of three uh, and in there was this one, Warm Neroli that smells like Lady Millions and then a um, water jasmine. Is it a water jasmine? I haven't really worn that so much um, but this one, the coconut one, I've been like pairing them together as like a, a day scent and um, again really really lovely it's got coconut vanilla and amber anything with amber in i'm like yes um so yeah they're the two that i've been reaching for although i did smell a really gorgeous uh perfume from penhaligans when we went uh we went to bath and chris has got that atomizer that i bought him for christmas and we can get a refill every time we go and i realized i didn't realize i thought you could only do it three times you can refill that atomizer as many times as you want for a three month period. So I think that's really good value for money. Um, but yeah, he went to get his atomizer refilled and I was like smelling all the other perfumes and Orange Blossom from Penhaligans is stunning. So, so nice. So I feel like that might be on a little Christmas list or a birthday list. So yeah, they're the, they're the scents that I've been reaching for lately. Another random thing that I've got to share with you as a favourite is um, this, a squirty squash. <laughs> There's no other way to, it's a, it's a squirty squash. Uh, the, you can get these from Aldi, Robinson's do these as well. Um, and they, I have this next to my bed. So I've got a refillable um, cup 
and I just have this next to my bed and I just put a couple of squirts in there and I've got like a drink throughout the evening if I need to um and yeah like I said just really ha they're handy to have in your handbag as well we had these when we went to Disneyland Paris so we just filled up our water bottle um and then they've got obviously the water fountains scattered all around the park so you can just fill up your bottle and then you can just put some squash in to just make it taste a bit nicer if you're not into just having plain water um so yeah really been enjoying my squirty squash so I had on my list fashion and to be honest I haven't really been gravitating towards anything in particular I am still living my loungewear life I mean when the weather gets a bit nicer and I start to bring out my nice dresses and my kimonos that might change um, but for now it's kind of like same old same old I did want to mention those snag tights they're currently in the wash and uh, so I can't show you them um, but yes yeah, snag tights hands down have been the best tights I've ever ever had so highly recommend them um, but I do have one sort of fashion item to share with you and it's a hat we all know I love my I love my, my hats for my dog walks the sillier the better the more condom like the better <laughs> um but yeah I've been loving this one because I really love the colour of it uh, and I actually got this hat from Depop I've actually got quite a few things let me just show you I've got quite a few things on my Depop list and I've been thinking you know if you guys would be interested in um, like a Depop haul I haven't purchased anything yet but I've got quite a few things in my shopping bag I mean look at this this is one of the items that I've got in there it's a like a, a watercolor dress and I've just realised it's in three other people's bags so I better snap that up quickly. <laughs> to be honest that could be a favourite. I've really been enjoying uh, going on Depop, Vinted. Uh, there's another one as well that um, I downloaded, By Rotation it's called and you can hire dresses. So if you're going to a particular occasion you don't want to buy anything new you can hire things, you can hire dresses, you can hire designer handbags. I mean, I've not used this service, but I saw it on Instagram and um, somebody was like showing that they'd hired this really gorgeous dress. And I thought, what's that from? So I downloaded the app by rotation and I've just been sort of sussing it out. But on the whole, it's a great idea if you want to, you know, have that designer look, but you can't afford, you know, a designer handbag, but you can borrow one for an event or an occasion and stuff um but yeah i haven't looked into that one so much but depop and vintage i've really been enjoying and so yeah i got this hat from depop it was brand new it was in the packet um because i saw somebody on instagram wearing this hat and i was like that i love that color emerald green is my absolute favorite color in the world and i saw this hat and i was like oh, that's so nice and she tagged it was from h&m Went on the H&M website, completely sold out. Went on Depop, there it was. Okay, so the next thing is a, is a random item, but you know, that's what these favorites are about. It's a, a cloth. It's a microfiber um, cloth from Primark. This is out of a pack of five. And every time I go to Primark, I always buy a new pack because these, are amazing at taking off your makeup um i had like the cotton ones like the cotton muslin cloths uh, and i liked those but after about four or five washes they become really really stained and just not very good and so i tried these ones and they've been amazing a pack of five one pound fifty and they pretty much take your makeup off within like two wipes and so i can't get enough of them and i thought i would share my love with you and then the last item that i have to show you uh, as part of my favorites today are my earbuds chris bought me these for christmas um and i love them i don't know what i did without them to be honest i have always been very old school and had earphones with the wire attached to the phone um and every time chris is like you need some of these i'm like no i don't no i don't it's fine 
um, but I kept breaking the headphones like that I'd have like some kind of dodgy connection in the wire and then one of the earpieces would would like break and I couldn't hear and I can only hear out of the right side and but the thing is I would just make do because I don't tend to wear my headphones around the house it was only ever when I was like commuting to and from work I'd listen to things I'd watch things on my phone uh, the only time I had my headphones is when I take Charlie out for a walk and so um yeah it wasn't really a, a big necessity however since he's bought me these i've used them every single day i have them in whilst i'm typing um they're just yeah so ha like when i'm washing up i'm watching a film and i'm like dotting around the kitchen whereas before they'd be like literally hooked to my phone i couldn't move anywhere i know i'm sounding ridiculous and you know you've probably all got these but Honestly, they've changed, they've changed my life. That's dramatic. I mean, they haven't changed my life, but I just feel like they've become an important thing that I use every single day. <laughs> anyway, right, that's all that I have to show you. Now on to my list, my very long list of TV programs. I've also got a couple of YouTubers uh, to share with you, music that I've been listening to. Let's, let's get started. If you watch my vlogs, then you will already know I'm a very big fan. In fact, the whole family is a very big fan of Saturday Night Telly at the moment. We've really been enjoying The Wheel with Michael McIntyre and The Masked Singer. Um, obviously, that's The Masked Singer is coming to an end, so that will be finished. I don't know what we're going to watch after that. Oh, there's like um, a new... Um, it's a bit like Stars in Their Eyes. I don't, I don't know if, if you're in a different country. I'm not sure if you've ever had Stars in Their Eyes, but in the uk it was very much a big saturday night tv program <laughs> that um just normal everyday people um imitated singers so you'd get someone you'd get barbara from bolton would come out and she'd impersonate tina turner and then you'd like rate them at the end and you'd get a winner i kind of get like this new show that's starting um soon is very similar it's like a panel show and it's got um sheridan smith who is an amazing actress um adam lambert is one of the judges i can't remember gary barlow i think is another one um but anyway this this new show that's about to start i think i'm gonna love it because i love old school saturday night tv bring back blind date i know like Scylla is no longer here but I oh, didn't they try to bring it back they did didn't they because paul o'grady brought it back so yeah so saturday night tv i've been very much enjoying another thing i've been enjoying lately is period dramas i i am a sucker for a period drama i love anything you know if you put somebody in a corset i'm gonna watch it <laughs> um so yeah i'm quite excited for the second series of Bridgerton that starts in March doesn't it um but yeah in the meantime we started watching me and mum started watching The Gilded Age um which is uh like Downton Abbey but in New York and I'm very much enjoying that I didn't realize that the main actress in that was Meryl Streep's daughter and now every time I see her I can't remember what her name is but every time I see her I'm like she really looks like her mum so yeah i've been watching the gilded age uh, it's really weird to see cynthia nixon as well in a completely different character to miranda from sex in the city and just like that we'll talk about that in a minute um but yeah two completely different characters uh, so yeah period dramas i've loved pride and prejudice that's now on netflix uh, i've also watched the duchess um what else have i watched uh marie antoinette that's on there um there's a couple of others as well jane eyre i think i watched um just just love a period drama to be honest anything to do with history as well there's a lot on like sky arts and um there's like a history channel on sky there's so much stuff to do with henry the eighth and that's my favorite history period and so yeah any kind of documentary on henry the eighth i'm i'm all over it i just just blooming love it so yeah so period dramas i have been enjoying uh what else is on my list and just like that which i spoke about a second ago <sighs> i watched the entire season i felt like the ending was okay i i kind of enjoyed it i i think i enjoyed the nostalgia more but i just felt they were trying too hard does anybody else agree with me on that or do you think it was 
great that it was so relevant um i don't know i just i didn't really gel with it but i just continued to persevere and watch it for the nostalgia i do feel like there will be a second series um so yeah so and just like that i watched emily in paris binged watched that obviously there's going to be a season four um enjoyed it but didn't enjoy it as much as the first series afterlife Oh my goodness, I don't even think I can talk about Afterlife without breaking down in tears, but Ricky Gervais is just a comedy writing genius in my eyes. <laughs> He's very much like Marmite, isn't he? You're either going to love him or you're going to hate him. I really love Ricky Gervais and everything that he does. Um, and so Afterlife was really um, just... It was just amazing. And the way that he, he blends comedy and sadness together is so relatable to so many people and so loved afterlife um i'm currently watching i don't know whether to save these for another favorites but i'll tell you i'm currently watching the woman in the window across the girl in the street or whatever it's called the one <laughs> with Kristen bell we are currently on episode f no six we're on episode six of that uh, so i've got two episodes to go so i'll i'll save that for next time but i'm enjoying it um and Pam and Tommy, in fact, the next episode, I had a notification on Disney Plus that the next episode is ready to watch. I don't know how I feel about it. It's very, very, very sexual, um, but it's kind of like funny sexual, if that makes sense. There is a whole piece in the first episode, if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about, where I'm like, what, what am I watching? What? okay <laughs> so it's it's okay um but i'm gonna reserve my judgment on that one so yeah i've been watching a lot of tv lately other things that we've watched um on normal telly rather than like netflix or amazon um there's been so many really good dramas on itv um and bbc one so we watched the responder with martin freeman amazing uh the teacher that was good had a weird ending uh and then there's another one called no return with sheridan smith the teacher had sheridan smith in as well i feel like she's she's everywhere at the moment but i'm not complaining because i really like her as an actress um haven't watched trigger point yet and there's another one chloe that's on record there's just there's so much telly and not enough hours in the day but i have watched a lot in fact in the comments below let me know what you've been enjoying um if you've got any recommendations and i'll add them to my ever expanding list of things to watch but um yeah that's that's what i've been loving tv wise next up i've got music oh actually i forgot to add this onto the things that i've watched encanto soundtrack that's another film that we watched um, recently enjoyed it it was very you know happy and bright and feel good um yeah I really, I really did enjoy it but i enjoy the soundtrack a lot it's been on repeat i have the songs going around in my head constantly to the point where even chris is singing them and he's like can you stop because they're in my head now um yeah so i've been listening to the encanto soundtrack i've been listening to a lot of 90s music at the moment i'm feeling very nostalgic about the 90s for some reason so i listen to a lot of like 90s playlists on apple music um tina arena i've been loving um, i've been listening to some drum and bass stuff again nostalgic um what else natalie and Brulia. um mary lambert i've been enjoying as well uh what else have i got on here paloma faith um the shaman <laughs> listening to the yeah, the 90s are back for me. Uh, the Cause. It's just things that I've downloaded that I'm like, yes, yes, I remember. Stevie Nicks I've got on here. Um, <laughs> yeah, UB40. The 80s are back now. Lots of stuff. Oh, another, another song that I discovered. It was on the radio. Well, not discovered. I rediscovered it. Um, me and Tennessee from the movie Country Strong, Tim McGraw and Gwyneth Paltrow. I loved that song when it came out. I think it's quite a few years old now, but um, yeah, downloaded that. Well, another one I downloaded, does anybody remember Dubstar? Um, I downloaded Stars, because that reminded me of my years as a student. <laughs> so yeah, 
very eclectic musical to i love all types of music so um that's what i've been listening to okay we're gonna round it up now to youtube i've got two youtubers that um i've been watching lately like new ones um and they are julie stanton uh julie is actually anastasia kings north um some of you may have heard of her well, probably a lot of you have heard of her she's a very well-known youtuber um i watch some of her videos sometimes but um i guess for me i feel like her content is a little bit younger for me um and so i like watching her mum now because her mum has started a, a youtube channel i think she started it last year and um yeah i've been really enjoying her content she does vlogs uh day in the lives clean with me stuff um favorites and um, yeah, I've really been enjoying her stuff. So Julie Stanton is a channel that um, I recommend if you're into that. And then another channel that I've been enjoying is Mrs. Pinky Crazy Bag Lady. She was a recommendation from my friend Lisa. So Lisa sends me channel recommendations that she's seen because I think we're both on the same page when it comes to what we like to watch and so she sent me this recommendation of this lady and um, yeah, I, she's so like bubbly she so always sees the bright side of everything she does vlogs um she loves her loves her dogs she goes to charity shops she does little hauls um and she's just so like i love watching happy people on youtube it just makes me smile and yeah she's one of those people that that make me smile and i've really been enjoying her channel so i'm going to link those two channels below if you like watching happy people and vlogs and all that kind of stuff um so yeah that's what i've been watching on youtube when i've had the time when i haven't been watching all the telly <laughs> that i've been watching so yeah so that i think is everything i think i've covered everything on my list um yeah i hope you've enjoyed today's video and having a little peek into my current favorites thank you very much for watching uh, and i will see you guys in my next video very very soon take care and i'll see you guys then bye